Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be guiding you through the exciting process of creating your very own WhatsApp bot. This bot will allow you to chat using the Gemini API, remove image backgrounds with the BG Remove API, and control both group and personal chats. Plus, there are a lot more features to explore. Before we dive into the tutorial, let's talk about the essentials you'll need. 1. A mobile phone and optionally, a second phone or a laptop. 2. A Replit account for deploying your app. 3. A session ID for WhatsApp integration. 4. The Gemini API for advanced chat features. 5. All necessary commands and links can be found in the blog post link below. Alright, let's get started. Step 1. Create a Replit account. First, we need to create a Replit account. Replit is a powerful online IDE that allows us to deploy applications easily. To sign up, visit the Replit website and click on the Sign Up button. You can register using your Google account, GitHub, or your email. Once you're signed up, you'll find yourself on the Replit homepage, ready to start coding. Step 2. Deploy the WhatsApp bot. Next, let's deploy our WhatsApp bot. Go to the blog post link below and click on the Deploy on Replit button. This will fork the repository containing all the bot's code to your Replit account. Once the repository is forked, we'll need to make some configurations. Step 3. Edit the config.env file. Now it's time to edit the config.env file to set up your bot with the necessary information like the Gemini API and session ID. In the Replit interface, you'll see a list of files on the left side. Find and click on config.env. Replace all the placeholder code with the provided code from the blog post. Don't worry about saving, Replit automatically saves your changes. Step 4. Obtain Session ID and Gemini API key. Get your Session ID, click on the Session ID button on the blog. You'll have two options, scan a QR code or use a pairing code. If you have one mobile device, the pairing code might be more convenient. However, if it doesn't work, try the scanning method. If you're using a single mobile phone, copy the Session ID URL and send it to a friend. They can open it in a browser to display the QR code. Once you have the QR code ready, open WhatsApp on your mobile device. Tap the three dots at the top right corner, select Link Devices, and open the code scanner to scan the QR code. Once scanned successfully, you'll receive your session ID in your inbox. Copy this session ID and head back to your Replit interface or you'll paste it into the config.emi file as directed. For the Gemini API, ensure you have a Gemini account. Click on the Gemini API button in the blog, follow the prompts, and you'll be redirected to the API key section. Here, you'll find your API key. Copy and save it for later use. Step 5. Start the bot on Replit. With everything set up, you should see a Run button on Replit to start your bot. Click on it, and the bot will begin installing necessary packages. This might take a few minutes. Since we're using Replit's free tier, it may be a bit slow, but there's an option to upgrade for faster performance. Once your bot is live, it's time to test it out. 
Step 6. Interact with your bot on WhatsApp. Open WhatsApp and start interacting with your bot by typing commands. Remember to prepend each command with a dot, like dot menu to see all available commands, dot alive to check if the bot is active, or dot Gemini to interact with the Gemini API. Conclusion. And that's it. You've successfully set up a WhatsApp bot with Gemini API integration. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments or reach out on social media. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing tutorial. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.